Yes, that's exactly what it was. Um, I was having, because of a cold, I was having issues equalizing, which means just to like, like, like equalize the pressure from inside your head to the surrounding. Yeah. You plug your nose, push and air comes out of your ears or whatever it does. I don't know. But I was having issues with that from the beginning. Um, and I'm like pulling on this rope. I'm starting to get a crazy, crazy headache because I can't equalize. So I, I get a hold of, get in touch with Mark. I'm like, hey, I got to stop because I'm, my head's going to blow up. So we go back up a little bit. And this whole time I'm freaking out. Um, and we start moving like a foot at a time, like, like one hand over the other, pulling myself down this rope, equalize over and over and over and over. And you're probably five to 10 feet away from me. You're, you just look calm because you're just chilling, like hovering. I'm like, I'm not going to let Christian down. I want to do this and experience this with him. So I had my eyes on you the whole time, like I'm just going to follow him. Right. Um, and it's, this is the funny part because I was having a panic attack. <laughs> <laughs> I was absolutely <laughs> freaking the fuck out because we, we were further down than we've ever been. Oh, yeah. Uh, says this isn't natural you i want to get out of here your brain i'm just going through oh, no. my breathing patterns just like in and out it's all you gotta do so yeah. unbeknownst to me you're above me having all these problems i'm down here in the darkness by myself holding on the road like you're gonna get through this it's gotta be fine yeah yeah i see you and mark come down descend with me we all go down on the wreck and have a glorious time oh man it was it was unreal because we were this, the ship was tilted on its side. So we were swimming through the galleyway. Um, I saw a lionfish in the wild. Never thought that would happen. I remember seeing a lionfish. We got up, you know, like, so we were swimming through this, the ship back around to, to the, the side of it. But there's just coral and reef grown over. It's just like un, unbelievable. This uh, is a ship from World War II, a Japanese yeah. ship that we downed, but we as yeah. in the United States. Uh, yeah. And one of 12 in the area. So it was cool to be kind of, man, this thing has been down here for 70s, 80 years. Just yeah. chilling. Yeah. Um, you know, from a time that we don't even really understand about. But yeah, it was, it was cool to be kind of part of history or just swim yeah. through history, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And that was like, once we both got down there, I just remember being like, sweet, I'm here. Like, I had no issues with equalizing or any any sort of pressure issues or any sort of air issues so once i got down there and we were down there i we were just like on cloud nine it was right it was once that's the, that's the funny thing about scuba diving once you're settled it's chill yeah uh but if you have a mask issue a fucking tank issue like it yeah. sucks yeah which i had a tank issue i i i can i can tell the story another time but i had a tank issue when i was diving in greece where i pretty much ran out of air while I was underwater. So oh, that's good. That's what you wanted, right? That's exactly what I wanted. But I'll get into that another time. So but anyway, we, we made this massive swim around. We were underwater for probably longer than we ever had been at that point. Because um, it was it was our second to last dive. So our last dive was in the freshwater. Uh, it was the brackish water. So you start off in salt water or salt water. Yeah, probably salt water. And then as you go further down, it turns into fresh water. So it was like a lake inside this island. Um, and, and below, like the, the, the fresh, it was fresh water and then, bra and then, then the salt water, which was heated, right? It was, it was um, like a It was a volcanic lake. So yeah, yeah. It was you. extremely hot. Yeah. Um, it was swimming through hell, essentially. It was weird. Yeah. And with all the other dives, we have full on wetsuits. And this one, he's like, Strip down to your, just your trunks because yeah. you're, you're not going to want anything other than that. And the, the top po portion of this dive was so cold. I remember, I remember freezing until we got down into that brackish water, which hit up to, it was something like close to a hundred degrees or something like that. It, it was, was a hot tub, dog. It, it like, was a, more than a hot tub. It was yeah, crazy. it was insane. Um, but we, that was another good dive. We came out, he congratulated us, you know, we got all of our stamps and everything um, as we got back to, the hostel um so we got back to the hostel all right I'm, I'm not missing anything am i no um got back to the hostel we had we had that night i'm pretty sure we, we might have had one extra day where we had one extra day because because mark was like hey if you want to do more dives we can totally do more dives tomorrow but my body was wrecked from all of that i didn't realize how much yeah 
it's it's an intense activity. You don't realize it because you're like, oh, I'm not exerting that much, but you are. It's your whole body for an yeah. hour. And and you're under. You're also under a like another amount of pressure. Your body's just like taking on however many atmospheres or pounds of pressure. Oh yeah, all the you're David Bowie. You're under pressure. <laughs> Get out of here. Um, so yeah, so we had that next day just again to like hang out, relax by the the pool, did some reading, just a lot of journaling, um, and then uh, and then we started our trip home. So we had we had a it was a ferry ride, right? We took a ferry, sort of like a really luxurious ferry up to. It was like uh, an overnight one, wasn't it? It was. Yeah, it was. It was. Oh, yeah. it was. We're on yeah. to Manila. Yeah, it was. Um, Overnight, we got in the next day and went straight to a hotel that you booked us. Oh, we only hung. <laughs> we slept in some barracks in the ship. Yeah. It was a thousand people deep. Yeah. Like just yeah. bunk beds on bunk beds. Yeah. God, coronavirus would have a fucking free for all in that oh. place. Oh, yeah. Like, it was that would have been real brutal. bad. Brutal. Um, <clears throat> but we got in, got to. The hotel. Do we stay the night there, or do we just had a do we just have a couple hours to kill? I can't remember. Uh, we got like, in on the boat, uh, and then we had we checked in to a very nice hotel. It was very nice, yeah, very because ridiculous. that's what you need after Slumdog Millionaire of a boat. Yeah, um, and we had out. We I think we both left that night. That's right. That's right. Yeah. We you you just like we need to have some luxurious like time downtime to relax. Um, so we got in, didn't really leave. Uh, you went out and grabbed some gifts or something like that for your family. Oh, no, I went, uh, I went to the, uh, the gypsy market to, to buy fake watches. <laughs> That's right. Is that what it was? Okay. Yes. Um, and I gave them some so, yeah. and I say, here you go. And they say, is this real? And I said, nope. Like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, you were, you were doing that. I stuck, I stayed back and just kind of like, took a nap and got my my stuff in order um and then i headed to the airport later that night which was which was almost a disaster because it's a good 30 40 minutes to get to the international airport we were right next to the domestic airport so i got in i had to hail a cab which took me 30 minutes to get there and usually the guy's like yeah people the cab driver was like most people tourists miss their flight because they don't realize how far it is and how bad the traffic is. I just happened to hit this window where I had no traffic whatsoever. Man, you're a lucky um, guy. And I, then I texted you. I'm like, hey, man, you should leave at least an hour earlier because of traffic. I don't know if you hit any, um, but, but it, was, it, was, it would have been a close call. Um, so I would have missed my flight and then would have had to buy a, a, you know, a one-way flight from Manila to Chicago. Sure. Which that that whole trip sucked as well. That was another like forty eight hours of of being in an airplane, not even travel, but just like being in an airplane. Um, but I got home like there was no like once I don't know I didn't have any issues like usually I have like a little bit of like food issues adjusting back, but like it was super chill. I was just really jet lagged um, and really tan, which was which was cool. Like a lot, you look good. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. They're really good. All right, stop. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, how was your how was your travel back? Do you have any issues? It was just long, no, right? Uh, yeah, it was probably shorter clean. for you. Did it was you easy. I, I went west, so I flew back through like we both went west. Okay, you went west as well. Okay. <clears throat> no, excuse me. We both flew east. I did not. Well, I, that's dumb. Yeah. That's why my flight was so cheap because I flew from Philippines to, or from Manila to Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi to Chicago. That can't something. be right. That's yeah. Sorry. That's yeah. That that's sucks. that's like, why my round makes sense for you to go to like Seattle and then to Chicago. Oh yeah, but my 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 flight my round trip flight was like seven hundred bucks or something. That's really good. That's really. It was good. super cheap, but that's that's why. And I learned. I learned um, very quickly that I'm not going to do budget flights like that again because I was miserable. Yeah, I mean, if you can afford it, well, I mean, yeah. let's all go first class. It just, 
what's your situation? Yeah. Do you want to get yeah. there? You know, that kind of thing. You yeah, want to sing right. with pants with yeah. cockroaches? I didn't, but I did. That's what go. happens. So, um, I'm trying to think. We missed anything. That's, that's it, right? That's it, buddy. I mean, that's, that's pretty it. much it. Yeah. Um, thanks, everybody, for coming out. I didn't do a whole lot of drawing, but uh, it was fun to just, like, chat anyway. But uh, next week, next Friday, we'll, we'll come at you with something else. I'm not sure yet. We should talk, figure out what, uh, what the next one we want to do, because it could be could be China, it could be China, Guatemala, it could be China, it could be Mexico. Um, who knows, really? Mexico was good. So Mexico was good. But all right, everybody. Thanks for joining. Christian. Bye, Jordy. Love you. Bye. I'll see you later.